Hey guys, what's up? Uh, today I have a brand new Final Fantasy 15 video. Um, today I just wanted to talk about EOS, um, or AOS. For those who don't know what that is, that is the world that the story and events of Final Fantasy 15 take place in. That is the world that they are in. Um, I just want to talk about how big and grand this world actually is in the game, because from gameplay demos and all like videos that we've seen it seems like the world of EOS is just absolutely massive like the first part of Final Fantasy 15 which is the like the desert wasteland that um, I got to explore in the EGX demo which I played is massive like it is huge <laughs> and obviously when you're driving around as well when you're driving to um, different locations in the game there's so much land that you can explore. And this is the same for the Duskayan region, or Duskay, which was featured in Final Fantasy XV episode Duskay, um, where that landscape is huge, and we only got to play like a small part of that entire region. So, um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's massive. It is literally massive. <laughs> um, Obviously, there are a lot of other locations which we haven't really seen too much of yet, but um, we know of them. So, obviously, we've seen a lot in Kingsglaive, and we've seen it in trails before, but you've got the Grand City of Insomnia. Um, then Niflheim, Tenebrae, Accordo, Altissa, Altissia, sorry. Um, and just so many, like, different locations for you all to explore so this world is massive and um tabata has actually said that um this whole universe or not universe this whole world is unlike anything we've seen in an open world game before um so i really do think this game is going to feature a massive open i quote open world um obviously only f like half the game is open world so um, all that large space that they've created must compensate somewhere down the line, which it seems it does. Um, but then obviously the reason why the game isn't completely open world is because of story reasons, etc. So, um, yeah. What do you guys think of the world of EOS in Final Fantasy XV? Do you like it? <laughs> I'll say do you like it. It's just, it's just a standard Final Fantasy world, really, which it isn't because there's a lot of lore and a lot of things that we don't really know about yet but um are you looking forward to think, to exploring the world of eos when the game finally releases um on november 29th let me know in the comment section below like subscribe favorite 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 all later on